Well, everyone, you might be trying to go ahead and figure out how to use your auto clicker inside of your particular iPad. Now, it's actually a very easy process. It doesn't take too much time at all. And I'll show you exactly how to go ahead and set it up. Now, number one, you wanna make your way over into your settings application, and you wanna come down into accessibility. So type into accessibility, and you wanna go ahead and get into this panel that basically says something like switch control. So right here, we have switch control. Go ahead and tap on it. And then you're gonna see these two things come up at the very top, switches and recipes. You wanna tap on the switches and you want to go ahead and add a new switch. And we wanna make sure it is a screen switch. So tap on screen and we wanna tap on full screen. And we just wanna go ahead and make sure that when we have our full screen you know, option, you wanna go and just make sure you have it basically here. So at this point, you can go and just find the you know, full screen option, but we should be good. So make sure you see this type of thing and you can even type in like tap if you want to. So it doesn't really matter, but just make sure that you have a full screen switch right at the very top. Now, when we do that, what we're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and click on back and we want to click on recipes. So tap on recipe. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a new recipe right here. So tap on create new recipe and we want to name this recipe whatever we want to. So you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'll just go ahead and name it auto. So go ahead and click on assign a switch and you wanna assign it back to that full screen one that we just did. So tap on full screen. And when you come here, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and set it as a custom gesture. So tap on custom gesture right here. And this is where you get to go ahead and really kind of assign your particular auto click that you wanna go and do. So if you wanted to automatically tap like in these random areas, you can go and specify exactly wherever you wanted to auto click. So go ahead and type in exactly now, I guess there's a time limit, but just go and type in and you know click on wherever you wanna click on. And when you're ready, you wanna click on the save button in the top right corner. So right now, you've now just created your custom gesture. So that's really cool, you're almost done. You wanna click on the back button. You wanna click on the back button up here one more time. And then you wanna click on the back button one more time. And as long as you see that gesture there, you're set. Now under launch recipe, you wanna click on the arrow next to it and you wanna change it from it being none or a different one into auto. So that custom gesture we just made, you wanna change it into that one. So now you wanna go and click back on recipes. And now you wanna go click on back to switch control. And we're basically almost done and we're almost good to go. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go back into accessibility. We wanna scroll down and we wanna find that little option that says uh, accessibility shortcut. So under accessibility shortcut, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and find that little panel that says switch control. So we should be able to find that switch control option right here. And we wanna make sure that's toggled on. Now, anytime we triple click the power button, it will go ahead and enable our switch control and it will automatically start auto clicking. So we'll go and demonstrate that right now. I'll go and click on here, go and click on a random note so then it just doesn't start going crazy. And what we can do is we can go ahead and just click on you know the triple click button. So the power button, I'll go and find it and I'll go and triple click on it. Wherever the power button is, right up here. Where is this power button? It's right up here. So I'll go one, two, three, and it should bring up into this page, right? You go and click on the screen and it will start auto-clicking on this screen. So you can see right here, it's continuing to auto-click. So now if you're wanting to get out of, you know, so every time you tap on the display, it will automatically start auto-clicking. So you can tap on it as many times as you want to and it will continue to start auto-clicking. If you're wanting to get out of assistive touch and no longer auto-click, you can triple-click on the power button again and it will get out of your assistive touch and it will get out of the auto-clicking. So. That's basically how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.